Hello guys, my name is Moin Akram and in this video we are going to make a Macbook Pro tutorial. So first press 7 and shift tab image background and Macbook. Now this is our layout images. So first select this image and leave and press 1 and shift a image background and front for this okay now let's make a side layout so press 3 maybe left control number 3 image background and select this image okay now press 7 and select image and use alpha and transparency about 0.5 and go to wireframe mode and grab on y axis and scale now edit mode select this side and move from here and align with this side of image also select this and shift to make it slower movement and B select and align now B select and align with this okay now press 1 let's see where we are okay now select and G on Z axis leave here and select bottom side and align with this Okay, now Okay, now press control number 3 to side view G on Y select this image grab scale down grab scale a little bit and maybe it's here okay now select plane and bottom side and extrude on z axis and scale just grab it here and i think it's fine now it looks like this now press control number 3 and control b to make bevel and also scroll middle mouse button to make segments let's see okay that's nice first Let's control Z and shift D to duplicate on Z axis and now extrude Z scale control B
set bevel around 16 okay also for the display origin to geometry and rotate on x-axis about 90 degrees and grab something like this select image and use alpha and make 0.5 about transparency y okay grab it down maybe that's enough now edit mode now select grab and extrude in z axis and y axis sorry y axis and scale down and control v to make bevel Okay, let's see. Maybe scale more. Control B. I think it's it's fine okay now select vertex with alt left click alt left and alt left now deselect to vertex group now edit mode press 1 and press Control numpad 1 and shift A background and select this image and 0.5 grab image and align with Z axis now select edit mode and control B let's set about 40 and remember this setting 0 0.0661 for our CPU select select now control B and left click and type 0 0.0661 for the same setting ok now control number 3 let's see how this looks like ok now select this side and make it down a little bit forget about this this make no sense Okay, just a little bit. Maybe that's enough. First, let's cancel this and no, no, let's make this. Can okay, now leave here and alt and alt left 
and control V and make bevel okay it's nice also for the display alt alt left now control B and maybe let's see the image control B okay it's nice now let's see so our first step is completed now what we are going to do is press 7 and see this we are going to add this touchpad here so out from x-ray mode and select anchor point around here and move shift a add a cube and go to y-frame mode and scale edit mode and select leave here also leave here align with this align with this okay now select the side four vertex group and press 7 and control B decrease the value about 20 we don't need so much now let's see let's hide this 7 and some tapper around here so what we are going to do is set origin to geometry and leave here and go to wireframe mode and rotate on x-axis here what is the value okay now select add modifier and boolean modifier and boolean modifier with this and apply and hide so touchpad is here now go to material tab and give it material name CPU also plus a new material and select this this face by alt left click and assign with this material and name it dark dark area also and hide this one more time and press 1 and edit mode go to x-ray mode and grab it down down okay now alt 
left and alt left make bevel align with surface and and edit mode and control B so I think it's fine it's looking nice origin to geometry okay gave it pad now press 7 and extra mode now we are going to make a bevel of keyboard also maybe duplicate this I think it's already here the same value why nah let's add cube select scale down and edit mode select this side and align with this and also align with this and select this side align with this select this side align with this okay now four vertex group and let's add bevel okay that's enough maybe 25 segments one out from extra mode and not so much maybe that's enough now add modify boolean modify and select with this and apply press H okay now see looking nice select by alt left and control B to make bevel okay nice also alt left alt left and alt left Okay, let's add a little bit bevel. Okay, so I think it's done here. Maybe this is enough for part one, and see you guys in our next part. So stay tuned with me and check out my previous video for more tutorials. And goodbye.